Zilla van den Born, a Dutch student, sparked envy among her friends by sharing photos of her breathtaking Southeast Asia journey. Surrounded by stunning beauty and thrilling adventures, she found herself unable to resist capturing and sharing every moment. Van den Born's captivating photos captured her unforgettable Asian escapades, from exploring sacred temples and savoring exotic cuisine to unwinding on picturesque beaches. Her parents, however, never anticipated the extent of her joyous experiences, and neither did she. When Van den Born's parents bid her farewell at the airport, they were excited for her month-long adventure, which would take her to Laos, Cambodia, and Thailand. They hoped the trip would not only enrich her life, but also provide opportunities to relax and forge meaningful connections. But little did they know what lay ahead. In a shocking twist, Van Den Born had masterfully deceived her friends and family about her vacation, maintaining a deep secret that caught everyone off guard. But what motivated her elaborate ruse? Was she simply seeking an escape from her everyday life? As it turns out, there was a purpose behind her seemingly outlandish behavior. Van Den Born's cunning plan left no room for doubt about her supposed idyllic trip to Asia. She flitted with photos of herself at various locations, appearing to have the time of her life. She even a picture of her family bidding her farewell at the airport. However, once they left, she never boarded the plane. Instead, the ingenious Dutch student boarded a train back to Amsterdam. Over the next 42 days, she meticulously crafted a fabricated reality, aided by Photoshop and her inventive imagination. But there was a method to her man's. All her photos were actually taken in various spots around Amsterdam, with even some underwater shots being faked in her own swimming pool. However, her elaborate deception posed a significant challenge. When this Dutch woman decided to fabricate a trip to Southeast Asia, she was committed. She knew she would eventually have to leave her house, but she also had to live incognito the whole time, while feeding everyone fake updates and images about her amazing trip to Asia. The question lingered, how would everyone react when she finally came clean? Van Den Born took it to another level, skillfully fooling everyone for a while. She announced her journey to Southeast Asia, and in a way, she did embark on it. However, she traveled from the comfort of her own home, using her computer to explore Laos, Cambodia, and Thailand. The graphic design student chose to remain indoors to avoid running into anyone, but when she had to go out, she disguised herself with a hat and sunglasses. She meticulously crafted and lived out the perfect deception. Van Den Born shared photos of delectable Thai meals, leading everyone to believe she had ordered them at a restaurant. In reality, she purchased the ingredients at a grocery store and cooked them at home, fully committing to making her lies as convincing as possible. Recreating a sacred site at home might seem daunting, but Van Den Born executed it flawlessly. She constructed a set in her garage, and with a little digital manipulation, convinced everyone that she had encountered Buddhist monks at a temple. Using simple items like draped fabrics and fairy lights, she transformed her home into a charming hotel room. However, she realized the need for authentic outdoor shots as well. Given her prior experience with Photoshop, digitally inserting herself into backgrounds of various locations, such as tropical gardens and exotic beaches, was a breeze. She even sent people souvenirs. But the question remained, was Van Den born simply acting irrationally? Using her local swimming pool, she staged a convincing snorkeling photo, even turning it into a postcard that she sent to her loved ones. To make her deception even harder to spot, she took an extra step. While photos can be altered, videos are typically seen as more reliable. That's why she filmed herself planning her entire travel itinerary using a large calendar listing. Her approach was so convincing that there seemed to be no reason to doubt her but perhaps there should have been. Van Den Born initially shared her story on her website, though she has since removed it. The Huffington Post, however, discovered that her entire trip to Asia was actually a school project. Everyone has their own way of discerning truth from falsehood. 
But Van den Born sought to demonstrate that society constantly distorts reality, often with ease. As her 42-day project drew to a close, she prepared to reveal the truth to her friends and family, documenting their reactions on film. However, there was one person she had not yet informed. Van den Born had deceived nearly everyone she knew, except, according to the Huffington Post, her boyfriend. It remains unclear whether he was aware of the deception or not. Nonetheless, she demonstrated that nobody is immune to deception, not even those closest to us. News of the Dutch woman faking a trip to Southeast Asia eventually spread like wildfire. Numerous media outlets picked up the story, effectively fulfilling the project's intended purpose of shedding light on the reality behind seemingly perfect. During her supposed vacation, Van Den Born managed to deceive her parents in various ways. Her meticulously renovated home, transformed to resemble a temporary Thai hotel, proved to be an effective illusion when she communicated with her parents via Skype. 